the red road is our Native American way of living. Dako Wichoka, Dako Wichoka, our Dakota, Dakota way of life. It is how you are as a native. When you walk the red road, that is that journey through life, utilizing our native teachings. versus walking the black road. When you walk the black road, you're letting alcohol, you're letting drugs, you're letting all that stuff that has deceit, you're letting that guide you. Today, you might be on the red road because it's convenient for you. same time, like that again, the click of a snap of a finger, drop of a hat, they can be on that dark road again. And that's where a majority of our people are caught betwixt in between. For them is that they can take a little bit of what I know from our culture, our ways, and take that with them as they grow into beautiful young ladies. Not only that, but um, when I'm coaching, it's I, I use respect, I use the seven values, and I don't put up with anybody's crap. So if somebody's pouting, they're sitting on the bench. I don't put up with that kind of behavior. And it's just to show them something. I'm trying to teach them something. And I'll explain things to them. Um, if I didn't give a crap about you guys, I wouldn't say nothing. You know? And I hope that they understand that. I hope that they take my words and my, my effort into teaching them these ways that they can turn around and pass that little bit of knowledge onto their children in the future. It is different teaching on the reservation than it is at a, um, and, I, and I don't want to use the, the terms um, white and non-white, I'm going to say middle class to a school where poverty, because, it, because that's what it is, it's poverty. Um, they don't have the, kids on the reservation have I, th I think they have hopes and dreams, but they don't know what it means to fulfill those hopes and dreams. The biggest thing they need is, a lot of it is fear of the unknown. It's, it's, it's fear of never being put in that environment. It's fear of, um, it's, 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 not, it's not knowing what to expect and they, they, they just don't know what it's going to be like. And, and I found that, um, I have found that working with these kids for eight years now, and, and I do a lot with them, is that um, they don't like to put themselves out there. Wow. I love how free it is here. 
Yeah. Freedom. him. And, um, the, all the nature. <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> it's just different than the city. Well, I'll call you back in like a little bit because I'm doing something right now with some people. Some people from Indiana. You know. Shut up. Okay. Okay. And then, like my grandma and them always said, they love the res because that's where they grew up and we have so much traditions and stuff like that. And it's like, they don't want them going to waste. Cause so many young, when they were younger, everyone basically danced like our tradition. Like they just kind of like dance the traditions and stuff like that. And now y people, as they get older, they kind of like just give it up. There's like, such a big drug problem around here with like so much stuff like like taking pills and doing meth and stuff and I don't like that because I mean it's like my home and I don't want my home to go to waste I mean we have such a like a beautiful scenery and stuff but I mean like people don't really take care of it because they either have to have like their pills or anything that they want to get that feeling I guess and I just want to kind of go and come back and help and get like people to get like into like a better life and get what they want to get done. We're just trying to do things to get off the res and then when we get our schooling done, come back and help off the res. It's around here and so I just started playing it. Like everybody plays it. Plus, we don't have no other sports. Well, I mean, we didn't at the time because we're a small school and nobody wants to do it. It's because it's like the only type of um, expression I think they have here because they don't have any like arts or anything here. So it's all sports. I mean, my friend, she's at league right now watching her brother play and she like a couple of weeks ago, she was trying to commit suicide and like we were all trying we all talked her out of it because we were like well if you go everyone's gonna miss and love you and she like kept denying it and it's just like if she went we were gonna we were all be sad because i mean she's like one of my best friends and then like when she plays softball she kind of like just forgets about like all the negative things and because i mean like it's our family and we play with our family and she just kind of remembers like all the good memories that we have with our family and then we just kind of play and she just forgets about all the negative things that are going on in her life. It's hard to deal with um, young people who have these suicidal ideations and not seeing any hope for their future and instead they want to hurt themselves so that turns into cutting to relieve that pain whatever pain that they're feeling that's what they're doing kids have been known to cut on the inside of their arms on the inside of their thighs so nobody can see it there's a new one where they were cutting on the inside of their um anal area it's just so nobody can see it um there's another one where they cut the bottom of their feet or the inside of their fingers and so there's a, there's a lot of healing that needs to go on. Um, our people are kind of like in the in limbo, I, I think. Well, my hope is that, you know, I've, a, a few girls that I've coached have gotten, have, have went on to college and have succeeded or are succeeding and stuff. And I guess, I guess my hope is that they just have a better life. Um, just, just have a chance and opportunity at having a better life. That is, that is it. The fear for me is that the negative, the, the negative life for the reservation will suck them back in.
We sit at the table, weapons in hand. But words hurt words. You remember them. Pretend that you're able to walk on your hands. Feel what I feel. Take a second glance. Say, beat me to the ground, hide the lost and found, pull the devil out now from the shade. Taste for sense, blow your innocence, cut out all your connections and grace. Don't be too proud now to say this is war. This is war. Express my deepest of fears. It's the cold that I hear. You're calling out to me. But I am aware my story is gray. So come sing me your way. The devil will rule this earth. And that's scary to me. It's not the fact that the devil's going to rule the earth. Yeah, yeah, that's scary. But the fact that how many good people are we going to have left? You know, we have so many that are doing drugs and drugs just drugs and it's changing it's changing DNA it's changing children I think maybe about 10 12 years now meth has been on this reservation but it's more so bad now than it is ever was before I mean people women who used to be just beautiful beautiful women have lost their beauty men who have been so handsome have lost that and I know it's not just here on the reservation it's all over but fighting the good fight 
I'm all up for that. I'm all for the good. So my message that I want to send with you is that there's still hope. As long as you have hope in here and you pray to your higher power. I believe that the world can change. sit at the table weapons in hand but words are the words you remember them you pretend that you're able to walk on your hands Feel what I feel Take a second glance They say you beat me to the ground Hide the lost and found Pull the devil out now from the shade Taste for sense, blow your innocence, cut out all your connections to grace. Don't be too proud now to say this is war. This is war. Come sing it 